Yo, yo, what's going on YouTube? So, here's my next adventure. I'm making a duckbill spoiler. I know this seems very minute and simple, but this is just gonna be the structure of the spoiler. I'm doing a Liberty Walk type spoiler. So as you can see, I cut out the angle that I want uh, the spoiler to be. And so my spoiler is gonna sit like this. And so it's gonna kind of be a duck bill and it's this gonna be the side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make two sides. And um, once I make two duplicate sides, I'm gonna then overlay the top part. So stay tuned. All right. Okay guys, the next thing I did is I pretty much put some masking tape um, on these for flexibility. So when I'm trying to make it, cause I, I got a poster board and I ripped the sides and the inside is cushioned and it's flexible because what happens when I'm using poster boards so when you try to use cardboard, it tends to kind of wrinkle up or fold up, you know, kind of like if I was to get this cardboard right here and try to bend it, it's gonna kind of give creases in it. So I'm using poster boards and I'm just reinforcing it. Um, what I've learned from doing fiberglass before is the, the better you prep it and do it, the less you have to do body work. So my goal is to have minimum body work once I create the, um, the actual duckbill spoiler. So once again, this is how it's gonna look. Now I have the wing how I want it to sit. As you can see, I'm kind of tilting inward a little bit. And you can see I basically just kind of you know, just taped the um, spoiler to the car so I can kind of get an idea of how I want it to look. So now I'm going to overlay some stuff on um, some poster on top of it to get the look that I'm, I want. And then I'm going to use tape to make it harder and then take it off. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm basically, uh, I, I had the cardboard straight. And I wanted it to be in a slant. So what I did is I drew a line and I just cut off the edge and then I just kind of taped the corners right here. So this is going to be the bottom part. And like I said, this is flimsy right now, but I'm going to use some duct tape to support it so it can get stiff just so I can get the right curvature. Cause you know, if I try to use like a cardboard, unless I'm using plexiglass, I'm not going to get the right curvature to it that I want. So I'm using this to, 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 so I can measure the thickness of it. So like I said, this is gonna be the bottom part and then I'm gonna, once I have it leveled out, then I'm gonna do the top part. All right, so now what I did is I basically just kind of cut that tip um, that way. And I think I'm gonna use this part that I cut off for the top part because I wanted to have like a, a surface on top. So I just kind of measured with the poster board that I had to cut that tip. So as you can see, I have the bottom piece on it and uh, it's not tilting the way I want it and it's warping. And I found out it's because this piece right here is keeping it from going down. And I just kind of outlined the curvature of the car to try to see if I can um, somehow make it work. So we'll see what happens once I do that. All right. As you guys can see, I'm starting to get that slant um, that I want, the right angle from cutting that back part. I still am a little warped, as you can see. And like I said, I didn't support it yet, but I'm still a little warped. So I'm gonna let you see the other side. So as you can see, I'm starting to get that duck bill. Um, the hardest part is it curves. You know, a lot of people, when they make duck bills, they they make it straight. Um, but when you have a bumper that curves, there's a lot more um, to it. So as you can see, if you look right here, you go to the back. I still need to trim a little bit of that because it's stop, it's still making it warp. It's still making it warp because it's kind of touching that. So I'm gonna trim a little bit of that. All right. Guys, I've been trimming and trimming. I'm trying to get the, I have so much curvature to the back. I'm, I have to follow the lines. You know, like I said, a lot of times people will just get something and go straight. Um, but 
that's not working for me. And um, that's why sometimes it doesn't come out right. So as you can see, um, I'm, I'm working on the curvature right now. Uh, so I can just kind of know exactly, um, it can sit exactly where it needs to sit. All right. As you can see, um, I'm trying to get it perfect. It takes a lot of patience. A lot of patience, guys. All right. A bit more support um, on the spoiler. So uh, cut this poster board and I'm adding the support. That way it can be firm and I can get good curvature. Uh, I put the tape, but it still, as you can see, was a little too flimsy. So I just want to make sure it's, uh, it's sturdy. So I've been, you know, working on this bottom piece. So um, once I'm done with this, I should be good. Thanks. So guys, I finished the bottom piece. I'm really happy with the way it came out. Um, I put some support right here. So when I'm bending it, it won't have a crease. It's just a little support. So now I'm gonna do the top piece. So let me show you what I did for the top piece. So what I did is I drew a line uh, for the bottom piece. So you see, I already have my template in place. Um, I have my template for right here and I have my template for the sides. And I am going to be selling these duck bills, just FYI. So if you want one, order one and I will make one. I'm actually making two. I actually already sold one. So I'm making one for my car and one for another car. Um, this is pretty much um, the same concept as the Liberty Walk. Um, uh, just a tad bit more aggressive, but um, it's gonna be amazing. So if you want one, I'm gonna put a link in the description where you can buy one from, uh, just FYI. So what I'm doing on this part, to for the top part, if you notice the top part, it comes out further than the bottom. So what I did is I set a point where the top part ends. And what I did is I curved it this way to try to overdo it, because it's better to do more than less. And then what I did, is I pushed up this to where I can still get the same curve. So um, that's how I'm gonna do, get the top part done. All right, guys. All right, so I know this looks horrible right now. It, I still have to do some um, trimming and stuff like that, but I'm just kind of just showing you how it's coming along. So I put like some foam right here because I wanted to have like a, Oh, you know, like a lip. I don't want it to be just a point. And um, so that foam is gonna give me that 3D dimension. So right now what I gotta do is I have to kinda have this thing follow the curvature of the trunk. So I'm gonna kinda cut from right here to right here so it can follow the curvature of the trunk. Then it's gonna start coming together. As you can see, I'm starting to kind of work on the curve. And um, I'm going to curve this part back in more and just kind of tilt this, kind of bend this and tilt this one in. So I'm actually working on that curve. All right. Okay, so what I did is I just went ahead and, and carved the front, carved this one. And then I just I initially had it like this, but then I cut it. So now it's gonna go in like that. And then that top piece is gonna go on. So it's gonna have more of like a flush look versus it just being just straight out. Cause that's, that was just throwing it off. So um, it's gonna kind of come like this. Of course I gotta make this top part hard. And then uh, and just kind of come like that. And you know, then it's like, Getting there. All right, guys. My duck bill is coming to life. It's coming to life. You can see the side angle. Pretty aggressive Liberty Walk style um, duck bill. See, I'm gonna um, put something on the top. I'm, I'm using that for depth. 
Um, I gotta go to the star tomorrow and get something more firm because when it's more firm, then it's not gonna sink. Like this one is sinking and it's gonna probably be, you know, straight across. But as you can see, it's coming together. It's coming together. All right, stay, stay tuned, stay with me. MLB style spoiler. All right, YouTube, here's the duck bill. This is just um, the tape um, before I bondo it. So just kind of showing you guys the method and um, how it came out. So you can see I got the curvature on there. Let me let you guys see how it looks on the inside. As you can see, um, pretty much hollow in the inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create um, that shell, that fiberglass shell. And then um, from that point, sand it down. Pretty much the gist of it.